Hey Fit Fam, and welcome back to my Fit Tips for a Healthier 2018 series. This is Fit Tip number 29, which means we are almost at the end. I'm going to 30 on these, so today and one more video, and then we'll be done with this series. <clears throat> so before I jump into it, if there are other things that you would like to hear about, other series you'd like me to do, workout videos, anything in particular, please leave comments on this or any video and let me know what else would be helpful for you to know. All right, so let's get into fit tip number 29. Do full body workouts. If you are short on time or you're new to the gym and don't quite know what to do, one of the best things you can do is just focus on full body exercises or total body workouts. It's a great way to get a lot in a short period of time and to hit your whole body for maximum calorie burning. It can be confusing when you're first getting into the gym to know what exactly you should be doing, how you should be spending your time. And so I wanna make this video to help you figure out kind of what you're supposed to do when you go to the gym. So I wanna simplify it and explain two good ways that you can work out your total body in one workout, probably about 45 minutes to an hour. When you do full body workouts, what I suggest focusing on is your big muscle groups. So chest, back, shoulders, and legs. Those are your main muscle groups. If you hit those, you're pretty much gonna hit everything else. So if you go into the gym and you don't know what to do, just think about those four muscle groups. If you wanna make it even easier, chest, back, legs, done. Just worry about those. So there's two ways that I like to focus on hitting all those main areas. One is one muscle group at a time, which can either be in a row or you can circuit them. So focusing on a chest exercise and a back exercise and a leg exercise, or you can do full body functional exercises. So kind of like the get up video that I showed you. That is a full body functional exercise. You can do things like squat to press, a lunge with a row if you have a cable to work with, a lunge with a press, a lunge with a bicep curl, squats with a upright row. There's a lot of things where you're basically using both your upper and your lower body at the same time and hitting muscle, multiple muscle groups. So you can do a whole series of workouts, maybe four exercises that hit multiple groups at a time, or you can just focus on one major muscle group. Again, what you might wanna think about is chest. Okay, maybe chest press, which is basically taking dumbbells or a cable, pressing in front of your chest and coming back. or a chest fly, which is similar, but with your arms straight in front of you and then back. So those are two exercises for your chest. Then maybe for back, you wanna do pull-ups or something like a row, which is basically this motion. You can do uh, on a cable machine, you can do that um, bent over on a bench. There's a lot of different ways you can do rows. Um, legs, big things like squats, lunges, deadlifts, those are all great for the legs. If you just pick one or two exercises for every single muscle group, just do about three to four sets, even five if you have the time and energy um, to do those exercises. You can do chest, then back, then legs, or you can do chest, back, legs, go back around, chest, back, legs. Um, and you might also wanna add in some core in there. Of course, your core is always super important. Um, so you might wanna start with that and then do all of the exercises. So maybe you do something like a plank and then a chest press and then a back row and then a squat, and that's your workout. So really easy way to simplify it and hit your whole body. Or again, you can work on those full body exercises. Those tend to target your core pretty well without having to do a lot of other specific core exercises. So I won't go super into detail on other exercises and I have other videos that show specific exercises and how to do them. But those are two ways you can get a total body workout. Do that three, four days a week to start out and that's a great way to get started in the gym. That's a great way even if you've been doing it for years. So just kind of change things up. Get away from the stagnant sitting on a bench and just doing one exercise like working on your chest one day or your shoulders one day. And just hit your whole body which is going to help to burn a lot of calories help with functional movement and all of your body working together instead of just isolating one group. And it's a good way to just keep things fun and keep things moving so you're not sitting around a whole lot. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you have specific questions about what to do, how to do these type of exercises, um, you can leave comments below. You can also go look at some of my other videos for tips and tricks on how to hit your whole body in one workout. So start off with that and that will definitely help you get stronger and leaner in 2018. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Fit Tip video.